my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and in today's video i'm gonna be doing a zara haul and a but i believe it's Saks Saks fifth avenue haul um not too much from Saks, but i did get majority of the stuff from zara's so just a disclaimer you guys know that zara does not carry um a tall section so i don't buy like pants and stuff from there However, I do buy skirts. So, with that being said, let's just start with the first outfit, which is what I'm wearing now. And I do have on a faux leather skirt and a muscle type corset type of top. Um, the skirt is a large, and I believe the top is a large also. I'm going to double check that for you guys. But the skirt is very, very soft. It does have a little bit of stretch to it. So if you are much more hippier than I am, you'll be able to get a large. But if you have a really small waist, you will be able to take it in. There is some stitching here that I do like. So if you did take it to a tailor, they can bring it in. And it actually goes around the back too if you needed to take it in. Um, it does have a long slit in the back which I do like. I don't want to feel like I'm walking like a mermaid. And on the inside of the skirt, there's like some faux suede so it doesn't stick to your body and stuff like that. So it gives you a little wiggle room when getting it on. Um, the top, like I guess it is a muscle top. It does have shoulder pads. I typically don't do shoulder pads because I have broad shoulders. So I try to stay away from it. But I really did like this top. And another thing I like about it is that I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a hidden zipper. So to me, things that have a hidden zipper, it does tend to make the clothing look a little bit more expensive and well put together. Well, some thought into making it. So this is outfit number one again, and the skirt is very, very soft. So if this is something that you would like to purchase for the fall or even the winter, um, I would recommend Zara's for any faux leather skirts. And I believe there's one more store, Mango. Mango has some stuff that some nice faux, faux leather skirts and stuff like that. But I will say this, I have a bunch of, maybe I'll do a haul on all of my faux leather skirts from Zara. And I have about maybe four, three, three or four more. And they were... They're really, really nice. Like this is smoother than the other ones. The other ones have a little bit more graining to it. So it looks, it looks like real leather, but same thing. They were actually a large also because those were like, they didn't have any stretch. But again, this is outfit number one. And I'm, again, I am going to link this below for you guys to take a look at. And let me know what you guys think. And I would probably just pair this with, I mean, you can wear some like ankle boots or even some maybe some pumps to be honest with you because the skirt is really really long so and i am six feet guys so it's reaching me down past my calf um which is pretty long for a six foot tall girl so that's outfit number one i'm probably gonna keep the skirt on and try on some of the tops so you guys can like really get a feel of what you can style with the skirt so i'll change to the next top and i'll be right back all right, guys, so here's top number two. Um, this is just a basic turtleneck type of top. Now, I got a medium, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this thing was super hard to get over my head. There's like some little bit of detailing right here. That's like, it's a little, it's a little tight. <laughs> it's a little tight. However, I think it's actually pretty cute. I would typically wear it tucked in. Um, just to give it more of like a sleek finish. Um, you know, that way you can put like a blazer on or something like that if you if you wanted to. So medium, go size up if you want because of this part. It may just be the top, honestly. But I would, like I said, typically wear it in and that's it. You know, this is just a simple basic top that I think everyone should probably have in their closet so it can go with your jeans, 
throw a blazer on over it, some pumps, some jeans, and you're done with it. And that's it. Um, if you want it, you can wear like some trousers with it, with a nice blazer, whatever. Like I said, it's very sleek. And I think it can actually fit under a suit if you are a suit person. Um, as long as the suit is tailored and stuff, this will be perfect. So I'll try the next top on, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is the third top. And again, a lot of these are basic. So this is a basic Zara turtleneck, no sleeve bodysuit. Now, you guys know these shirts, I have about maybe three with the same material. I actually really love the material. And you can size down in these if you want them really, really fitted on you. And again, this is something that you would just wear under a blazer or some sort of jacket. Um, I, I, guess I have on the same skirt, but very smooth, very fitting, um, and very sleek, just very sleek. This one was not hard to get on like the last one, but I'm just gonna throw on this poncho that I got from Saks. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, it wasn't expensive, but it says reversible. That's a lie because you cannot wear this inside out like this. But, you know, if I was just going somewhere and I just wanted to just throw on, you know, like the top that I have on now, I would just throw this over it and just kind of just, you know, drape it and go. Very simple and chic, classy more classy than anything. And probably like, I have one studs now. So maybe you could wear studs and a nice little bracelet ring and call it a day. Nothing too over the top. And you can actually wear this with jeans cause I've done this plenty, plenty of times in New York City. So, but this says reversible and it's not. However, I do like it. It is a hundred percent wool. It is 100% wool, so I look for things like that too. Um, not to get so much, you know, polyester and stuff like that. So this will actually last you for some time. If you got wool, put it in the cleaners and call it a day. I would recommend anybody, anything that you buy that costs money, put it in the cleaners. Okay, <laughs> it will save you a lot of money in damaging your things by trying to wash them and, you know, just messing them up. So put something like that in the cleaners, even your faux skirts. I would just take it to a leather cleaner or whatever. I think you can wipe them down, but I don't know. I would, I, <laughs> I would want something to like, I don't know, because I don't know what you really can do to a leather skirt, but take it to a leather cleaner, even though it's faux they may still be able to help you in cleaning your skirts or your pants or whatever. So this is again, top number three, and then the poncho from Saks. So this is from Zara's and that's from Saks. And let me know what you guys think. And I'll put the next top on and I'll probably, let's see. I'm gonna skip some stuff. And the reason why is because a lot of these are basics and i'm actually going to show you guys really quick which ones i do have and what i'll do is i will show you the basics from zara all of these are basics okay and this is just a regular t-shirt like a slight mock neck t-shirt very cheap really good cotton quality from zara so I would recommend these again. As you guys can see, I have a lot of stuff with no sleeves. That's because I have a lot of blazers. I love blazers on tall women, especially if they are tailored to fit. Um, just a key thing, I just found out that Suit Supply, they're making custom jackets and stuff. Uh, they do not have a women's section in Atlanta. So I'm gonna go to New York and get me a couple of things custom made to fit for my body. And I think that'll pretty much level up everything that I have. So this is a white one. 
And I got that in the large. And these are really cheap. These are like $12.90. I got one in black. So you can just, like I said, throw it on with a blazer. And I do have the infamous bodysuits from Zara. I got a white one, a must-have. These are $19.90. And I got a black one. So you guys know about these bodysuits. I think you should keep them in your rotation. If they start to get ruined, just get new ones every year. And these are the other basics that I usually get from them. Um, I usually get these colors plus black and plus white. And now that I know that they have these with the turtlenecks, this is gonna be my new staples from them also. So I'm not gonna try these on. I'm sure you guys see these a million times, <laughs> but those are just some basics that I have here. And I'm gonna actually try on the next skirt that I have, which is this. And let you guys see how this, this is really cute. Like this is really cute. I'll probably just try it on with this top from Zara. And I'm gonna also put it on with this other top from Zara. And I may, Put it on with this top to see how it looks with this color and probably like some nude boots or something like that so um i'll be right back guys with this on and let you guys see what it looks like on me okay guys this is going to be close to my final outfit um so this is from zara I love this top. This little detailing right here gives me a little cinching in of the waist. This skirt, I don't, can you guys see the skirt? It has like a little bit of asymmetrical lines over here. Um, it's soft like the first one, but this one actually has hoops in it. So you can hoop, hoop a belt. I have a Zara belt that I bought. I kept the tag on because I think it's too big. Um, I got a size 85. Oh, that's why I should have got an 80. Um, duh, right? But I got an 85. But if you want it, because I wanted to like wrap it around my waist, like higher up. And, um, but just for it to sit comfortably. This size is okay, but I think I should have gotten a size 80. And it does tell you you are size 32, and that's that's too big for me. Um, I think I'm a 30, 30 or 31. But um, let's see. Sorry, I got this stupid tag on the front. But this is the the belt is actually really really cute. I love the belt. It's just too big for me. I'm hoping that they have a size 80. If not, I'll keep it and just drape it over, you know. It's like an old school accordion belt. Stuff that my auntie used to wear back in her fly day. <laughs> but um, I think this is really cute with like set of gold earrings or something like that. I'm not putting on my, changing my accessories, guys. The focus is really on the stuff that I purchased from Zara. So, and that's it. Like, that's the belt. Um, let's see. I think I, let me try something really quick. I am going to take this off and I'm going to put on this other item that I bought from Saks, which is just a plain black fedora. Um, this, the guy packaged this stuff and he put it together with the um, the poncho, which was not smart of him, but here's a, just a hat. I wouldn't wear it with this, but if you guys are looking for just a plain fedora black hat, you can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, I don't know if you guys seen my lack of color video. I will actually probably link that in the card somewhere, but that hat is beautiful. 
you know, the rim of it is really hard and it doesn't flop on your head. This one is a one size fit all, so you can get these anywhere. I actually think I overpaid for it, but I needed another black hat because the one that I do have is very dramatic. I'm gonna do a hat a hat video for you guys so you guys can see all of my hats and stuff. So yeah, so this is from Saks. This is from Zara. And the skirt is from Zara also. Um, I hope you guys can see the detail. Let me back up a little bit, the detailing on it. Um, but it's really soft. And this also, oh, this one doesn't have like that faux suede, but it does have some material in here where it won't stick to you, so you guys like this they didn't have this in the store guys so how about you guys go online <laughs> and kind of put it in i'm gonna see if i can find it because i have to search really really hard to find this particular skirt so i'll try to link every single thing in the description bar for you guys and then you guys can go pick it up if you like it but i absolutely love this i love this guys all right so i'll be back with the next item and then We'll be done for the day. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I actually ended up trying back on this top here um, because the footage may be a little blurry and this, I think you can see the shirt a little bit better with the lighter skirt. So this is the same green top um, from the, the first half of the video. But I wanted you guys to really see like the detailing in it on how it cinches in here. And I wanted you guys to see the hidden zipper in the back. And it actually comes all the way down. I mean, you don't have to zipper it down because it's very stretchy. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this again. And you can wear this with pretty much anything, to be honest. It's a pretty olive green color. So... Cream, you can wear it with brown, you can wear it with black, <laughs> taupe, whatever. But this is the, the, the original top from the first half of the video. So let me know what you guys think with this look with the um, the cream skirt. I like it. I actually like it better with the cream skirt. I do. These shoulder pads are ridiculously big, but I like it with um, with the cream skirt. I do. So I'll be back with the last top, guys. And um, that will be it for this Zara and Saks Fifth Ave try on haul. Be right back, guys. All right, guys. This is the last top for this Zara, Zara and Saks Fifth Ave try on haul. I said I didn't like shoulder pads, but <laughs> I like this. Um, like I said, the weather here in Georgia has been like really up and down. So. Some days I'll be okay with something like this and some days I won't, but you know, I think this is like a good balance. This is more of a dressy top. It does have some ruching here at the top, which I do like. And um, I like this top. Dress more dressy, much more classy. Um, you can probably wear a belt with this. I would recommend a nice little skinny sleek belt with this one. You could still wear it with a skirt like this and some cute little pumps or like some slouch boots or whatever. And keep it simple. Less is more, guys, honestly. All the other like extra stuff I'm just not really a fan of. Um, I'm 40, so I can't be out here with the super tight leggings and stuff. <laughs> Unless they're like riding leggings or something like that. But this is the top. I think it's very, this is, this is more of a cheaper material, but something like this, I would take to the cleaners. I wouldn't wash this in, in the washing machine. So let me know what you guys think. And that's it for this video, guys. If you guys like videos like this, please comment below more try on hauls for tall women. And I will try my best to be as detailed as I can in the comment section for you guys with what I purchased. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment below. Coco, we see you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.